Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. In this Blender tutorial series, we are going to learn to create a sword, sword handle modeling. So without further ado, let's get started. I have created the handle of the sword with the help of simple cylinder. I have added a 12 volt cylinder, then I have rotated it into the 90 degree and then scale it down as like this. First, I have created the head and the joining part of the handle. It's very simple to create it. I have used the knife tool add there to create this kind of slant cuts and to get that form for the model. It's not that difficult. Easily you can create it. At the first place I have created the basic block out for the handle and then I started to refine it. Then I have used the one more time the knife tool add here and I have created that slant cut so I can join that handle to that blade. You can play with the position of the words to get that right form. And just one more time extrude it and then scale it down like this. Just create that tapper kind of form. I have just tried to create that basic joining part. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. And then you can create the top of that handle. Then I have added some demodifier on this handle part and I have refined that form so I can get this kind of details. You can see with the help of some loop cuts and with the help of some work I got this kind of decent looking handle add there. We want to create its creep so that's also we need to do. So I can select this kind of face loops and then shift D to duplicate it and press P for the selection to make a different object. And then take that face loop you can see here we just want to age to create that grip for the handle so that's why first i have deleted some faces and then i have deleted some edges you can see then i can add the screw modifier on it as like this and then just i have increased the screw amount add there and then you can increase that iteration so you can get this kind of grip for the handle never gonna look back Never gonna look back Cause damn I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Then you can apply that modifier Then select this grip part And you need to extrude it along its normal To add the thickness But before that just try to work on that form and just try to take it at the right place. You need to give the right position to the words and you need to properly match it with the handle so you can get decent look at there. I have spent a little bit of time at there to get this kind of form. Something like this, it's like a time taking. So have some patience and do this kind of thing. After working on it, I got something like this. It looks really well. And now just I need to add the thickness to it. So I will get a 3D form add there. So shift D to duplicate it, make a backup. And then you can add the solidify modifier on it. Make sure solidify modifier should be top of your sub D modifier. And then just adjust the thickness in the solidify modifier. And you will get the grip form for your handle. Just works at some places wherever it's possible. Uh, so you will get the right decent looking form. I'm getting that grip but it's not looks really well. Because there are not supporting loop cuts to maintain that form. So that's why we need to add the supporting loop cuts also. You can apply that solidify modifier. Then select this face loop. And then just need to add few supporting loop cuts at there. 
so you can use the insert operation add there or you can add loop cuts with the control r you can see now we are getting the little bit of form add there that grip form at some places we need to adjust the position and thickness of that grid so you can scale it along its normal and then you can add few more loop cuts on it and now just you need to adjust the position of the edges at here edges or words you can say anything the final result will be like this i have got this decent looking sword handle which looks really well I got two parts of the sword, first one is the blade and second one is the handle. So our modeling process is done and it looks really well. In this way you can create this kind of handle for your sword. So we will cover the UV unwrapping in the next part. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye, see so you next video, take care.